XRP. Binance just did this with XRP Ripple. Things are not looking great for XRP, guys. The price of XRP has dropped over 25% in the past week as the coin has faced heavy opposition from the $1.40 to the $1.35 zone. This in turn has hindered any attempts by its price to launch a substantial rally. However, it will be interesting to watch what comes next in the XRP's way as the latest news regarding Binance hits the investors. Hey guys, glad to have you back. For today's video, we have lots of juicy news for you. We're going to talk about what Binance, the popular cryptocurrency exchange, did with Ripple's XRP. Is this going to have an impact on the price of XRP? Moreover, we will talk about the latest XRP price predictions. We also have XRP price analysis and more information surrounding Ripple at the end. So, if you're someone who likes to stay updated about the current cryptocurrency matters, you're in the right place. Make sure to watch the video until the end. Before diving into the video, if you love money and crypto, like the video and subscribe to the channel to watch more such videos. So, without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? You want to win an iPhone 12, maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? You decide. All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. And leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. CoinGeek reported a few days ago that the crypto exchange called Binance, which is quite popular, has gone offline due to another market downturn. Binance banned all digital currency withdrawals twice on Monday claiming backlog as the reason. Withdrawals were originally halted and then restarted almost 25 minutes later before being suspended and resumed again. So what really is going on Binance and what does this mean for the decentralized permissionless narrative promoted by Binance CEO Chang Peng Zhao and others? You guys must know that Zhao loves to portray himself as one of the crypto movement darlings. He frequently promotes false concepts about decentralization, permissionless access to digital currency, uncensored transactions, and other topics. However, a closer look at Binance and his actions reveals that it is nearly the polar opposite of what he depicts to the public. These withdrawal suspensions are a clear example of the company's unscrupulous tactics. It is convicted of manipulating digital currency markets, has been blocked or outlawed in a number of law-abiding countries, and has relocated from country to country in an attempt to escape regulatory compliance. Binance pays lip service to regulations as it does with the key precepts of the anarcho-capitalist philosophy that now governs the digital currency markets, but its actions paint a complete picture. One would wonder why a corporation with nothing to hide would be so animate about refusing to reveal its books to regulators and adhere to basic customer protections. Binance cited a backlog as the cause of the action, and while this may or may not be true, it fatally exposed many of the fallacies that surrounded Binance's storylines. In what manner are digital currencies decentralized, permissionless, or uncensored if a single form has the ability to halt all transactions at any time? Could a higher number of attempts to realize gains on meme currencies like Shiba Inu, for which Binance may not have the cash on hand, be a more realistic cause for the withdrawal suspension? In the face of large jackpots, unlicensed online casinos frequently delay withdrawals. Moving on, we are wondering if Binance is following the lead of the offshore iGaming industry. Well. It is uncertain that this is a question best left to the investigators who are undoubtedly keeping tabs on Binance's every action. What is evident is Binance users are dissatisfied. Many people turn to Twitter and other social media platforms to criticize the transaction while others emphasize the importance of token swaps taking place on the decentralized protocols that aren't governed by the companies. 
even though a few temporary withdrawal restrictions by a big digital currency exchange don't seem like much in isolation, when they stack up, they reveal the truth that many people are not willing to admit. Practically, everything they think they know about crypto is a lie. The industry is largely in the hands of the self-interested criminals who balk at the regulations by milking the masses by both counter-trading them and charging them extortionate fees to access the new financial system they claim will be more inclusive and accessible as Binance and other exchanges like Coinbase and Bitmax have repeatedly demonstrated. Binance is glad to continue raking in fees to facilitate the current condition of the digital currency market, which is nothing more than a worldwide uncontrolled casino. It would have to substitute its claim of a backlog as the primary cause for blocking withdrawals in a regulated environment, but as things are, it won't have to and will continue to mislead beginners and those who haven't yet realized the game despite the attempts of vested interests. However, the Wild West era is drawing to a close. Court proceedings threaten to expose the fiction that coins can't be transferred without private keys and more and more people are beginning to doubt the narrative that has been created as the tough-talking crypto anarchists fold one after another when confronted with the law. It is now impossible to verify why Binance actually stopped accepting withdrawals. However, as more regulations become law and more countries, it will become easier to distinguish the truth from the fiction. Moreover, despite the ongoing SEC versus Ripple Labs lawsuit and a market downturn, Ripple has been generating headlines in the crypto world. Ripple X general manager Monica Long spoke with the host Tony Edward on an edition of the Thinking Crypto podcast about Ripple's recent success multi-chain development and the XRP ledger technology. Long described ODL as the killer value proposition to RippleNet, saying, So you know, ODL's been in the market for a few years now, and quarter three was undoubtedly the most remarkable and ODL volume increase when comparing quarter three 2021 to quarter three 2020. It increased by 25 times and by more than 130% quarter over quarter, and now it's available in more than 20 countries. Long also verified that the clients didn't need to own XRP because the asset was sourced via a third-party exchange or Ripple. This was one of the two models available. The executive further emphasized that the function would reduce exchange fees and expedite the procedure. Long reinforced her opinion that the future would be multi-chain as she delved deeper into the XRP ecosystem. When it comes to NFTs, Long expressed her dissatisfaction with Ethereum's exorbitant gas fees, pointing that XRP's ledger transaction fees were a fraction of a penny. Long mentioned the XLS20 standard, which was proposed in early 2021 to facilitate minting NFTs on the XRP ledger. When asked about when this will happen, Long said that it will really be up to the amendment process, noting that the community feedback was excellent and that the validators needed to vote on it later. The fact that these blockchains are decentralized and open is one of their most appealing features, but it also means that it is a timeline that's really in the hands of the people. Long also mentioned the EVM sidechains for Ethereum smart contracts, federated sidechains that developers could preview and automated market making when discussing Ripple X's other projects. When it comes to CBDC's trial with Butin's Royal Monetary Authority, Long believes that sustainability is a selling factor for the platform. She also emphasized the importance of interoperability among foreign CBDC ledgers. She also talked about the fact that there are many conversations with the central banks throughout the world and hinted that future customers would most likely be announced soon. 
Ripple has worked with the development of the CBDC in the United Kingdom. The CBDC solution is carbon neutral and because it is based on the public XRP ledger is 120,000 more energy efficient than proof of work blockchains. That said, this is it for today's video. If you want to continue to know more about Shiba Inu, XRP or Ethereum, we have more videos waiting for you on our channel to check out. The data and analysis given in this video does not comprise investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice, and you should not treat any of the content as such. This content in this video is for instructive purposes only and should not be considered as monetary guidance. Do conduct your own due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Kindly note that the prices of cryptocurrencies change frequently, so by the time you watch this, it might have changed to a whole new value. We hope that our video was helpful for you regarding your cryptocurrency concerns and questions. Tell us in the comments section what you think about what Binance did with XRP. Do you own any XRP or would you consider buying some? Also, tell us what you want to see next. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. See you in the next video.